Welcome my dear friends. In this video, I'm going to show you a truly working way to root your Android device using Magisk Manager. Step 1. Magisk Install. Please download Magisk from official GitHub page. I've provided all download links in the description. Run the APK file downloaded. You may need to allow installation from unknown sources. Once installation is done, please open it. Over here it says NA against installed, meaning Magisk Root Manager is not yet fully installed. Once you complete all steps in this video, you will see the Magisk version number in place of this NA. Carefully note down the value of RAM disk. If it's yes, in upcoming steps you've to work on downloading, patching and flashing boot. If it's no, in upcoming steps you've to work on downloading, patching and flashing recovery. Step 2. Unlock bootloader. Please follow these steps to check your bootloader unlock status. If your bootloader is already unlocked, please proceed to step 3. If it is locked, you will need to unlock your bootloader, and this will factory data reset your device for security reasons, and all user data will be deleted, so please back up important files. Steps for unlocking bootloader wildly differs for each model, so please search Google with XDA and your mobile model. And follow these device-specific instructions to complete bootloader unlock. You could also refer these high-level hints for unlocking your bootloader. Step 3. Download boot.image or recovery.image. There are two ways to get these files. First way is to get it from your phone itself, let's see how. Please connect your phone with the PC. Ensure your phone is completely turned off. Please press and hold the fast boot key combinations for your device model. If you are not sure please search Google. For my phone it's volume down plus power button. Once you are in download mode you can release the keys. In your PC, please go to the folder where you have fastboot and adbexe files. If you don't have it, please download from this link. Once downloaded extract the zip file contents to a directory. Please try to avoid long names and spaces in this path. Press and hold shift key and right click on the empty space over here. Please open PowerShell and command prompt. Type fastboot devices and hit enter. You should see a device listed like this. Now search Google and precisely download TWRP custom recovery image file for your device model and place it in the same folder where you have ADB and fastboot EXEs. We now need to execute this fastboot boot command with your custom recovery file name. All these commands are available in the description. Please note we are not flashing boot partition, instead we are just temporarily booting into custom recovery. As a result, you should see your Android device booting into custom recovery. If it's asking for password, please provide the password that you use for screen lock. Once your Android is into custom recovery, please go back to PC and enter ADB shell. Please run this ls command. Note down the path for boot and use the same in the next command. Boot.image has been created in the Android device in the path that you have given in your command. Now let's see about second way. Please search and download stock ROM of your device model and OS version. Unzip the downloaded file to get boot.image or recovery.image file. Whatever the way you have followed, 
At the end of this step please ensure you have the boot or recovery image file in your Android device storage. Step 4. Patch boot.image or recovery.image. Please open Magisk app. Press the install button. Choose select and patch a file. Navigate and locate boot.image or recovery.image that we made ready in the previous step. Tap on let's go. Once all done, please note down this location. Now you should transfer this file to your PC, exactly to the same location where you have ADB and Fastboot EXEs. Step 5. Flashboot.image or recovery.image. Please establish Fastboot connection, if you need any help please refer Step 3. In this command, replace the file name with Magisk patched boot image and execute the same. Please remember, some of you who noted RAM disk and O in step 1, need to flash patched recovery image. Step 6. Reboot and enjoy root. I have rebooted my phone normally. Please open Magisk. Now I could see version number for Magisk instead of NA. Please install Root Checker from Play Store. Let's check for root access. Yes, I got root access request. And it's successful. Before we end, I would like to share you the XDA link for rooting. This is good place to refer if you have issues rooting your device. Sometimes the patched boot and recovery images are directly available in XDA, in those cases you can even skip first three steps in this video and directly download and follow the flash step, provided your bootloader is already unlocked. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.